Hi, this is uh, Chris G4HYG from Cross Country Wireless. Uh, this is a quick uh, demonstration of the new active antenna that we're developing. Uh, it's a HF antenna covering from roughly uh, the VLF bands up to the uh, low VHF bands. Uh, the antenna we have on test at the moment, it just has two uh, 1.2 meter elements in a short dipole configuration and it's only mounted two meters above the ground. Uh, currently working on the 40 meter amateur band, it's, uh, let's see, the time here it's uh, roughly four o'clock, it's going dark outside so conditions are uh, somewhat interesting on the amateur bands. Uh, at the moment this is running um, using the active antenna. Now we can do a direct comparison with a full wave 40 meter dipole. And that's the active antenna switched out. Now we're using the full size 40 meter dipole. Just leave that for a few minutes. And switch it back in again. That's the active antenna. Uh, interesting at the moment on 40 meters we can see uh, one of the uh, AM broadcast stations, which is actually an intruder on 7.120 uh, kilohertz, just a, just here on the uh, display. So that's uh, actually a real signal; it's not a uh, spurious. Then what we can do is uh, also try it on uh, some different frequencies. The interesting point is is that the the uh, active antenna is actually optimised. The amplifier gain is set so that the output from it is the same as a full-size half-wave dipole at every frequency it, uh, it operates on. So for instance here, this is now on uh, tuned to a local broadcast, broadcast station, uh, Gold AM on uh, 1458 kilohertz. Now that's uh, running the active antenna. Take that out, put the uh, the 40 meter dipole, you can see it's actually a lot less on the 40 meter dipole because it's not tuned to that frequency. So the active antenna with the amplifier is uh, correctly compensating for for the, the losses there. You can also try, say, one of the higher frequency bands. Let's try, say, 20 meters. Uh, 20 meters PSK, 14.07. That's currently using the uh, the active antenna, take that out, put the dipole in, very little difference you know, because of the signal to noise is the same. So you can see that uh, a short dipole antenna like this works very well. An interesting point is how well it's going to work on uh, some receivers because it's given the same output as a full wave dipole at all frequencies as it's designed to work on. So Certainly a very interesting antenna. The other good thing, small antenna, just three meters across, that can be located in a lot of uh, interesting places. You can put it on a chimney, top of a roof, uh, but the, being fairly small you can move it around and actually find the quietest location in the ground that you've got to put it in. So it's, uh, you know, should be quite useful. I uh, expect it to be out in about a month's time. We're still in early stages, not designed the printed circuit board yet, but this is a lash up just to prove the, uh, the final circuit. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's, uh, this is Chris G4HYG and uh, hope you've enjoyed the video.